Today's lesson is called Natural World Thrives Under Corona Lockdown. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff. My name is Roger, and today again we're going to continue talking about the pandemic that affected the world and still is affecting the world to this day. But there was one good thing about the pandemic, and the fact is that the natural world was able to thrive under this lockdown. How could that be? There you go, COVID nineteen. It was very bad for humanity, but you know what? The natural world, hey. It did pretty well while everyone was under lockdown because of the coronavirus or COVID-19. Yes, the natural world, nature. Not only did it do well, it thrived. It flourished when people were under lockdown. How about that? How cool! So yes, there was a lot of suffering for humanity, but the natural world was doing a okay. COVID nineteen didn't affect it one bit. In fact, it was quite the opposite. Anyways, let's go ahead and start reading about this. Okay, when we come back, we'll start reading an article called "Natural World Thrives Under Corona Lockdown." Natural world thrives under Corona lockdown. Early in 2020, the city of Wuhan, China, became the first place to order its citizens to stay home due to the COVID-19 outbreak. One after the other, cities around the world followed suit, and lockdown became the new normal. Such measures to stop the spread of the disease posed serious problems to the global economy. However, they also had unexpected benefits for the natural world and the planet as a whole. 大家好，标题中我们看到动词 thrive 指繁荣、兴盛、生长旺盛。例如 ，business thrives in the city since the government opened a technology zone. 自从政府设立科技园区后，该市的商业活动蓬勃发展。或是。Josie's flowers thrived because she looked after them properly. Josie 妥善照顾她的花，所以花儿盛开。另外，补充一个相关片语 ：thrive on something， 表示靠着点点点而兴盛。像是 The young extreme sports enthusiast thrives on danger and excitement. 那位年轻的极限运动爱好者因危险而刺激而充满活力。再来，我们看到一个单字 lockdown， 这个字是名词。指特定建筑物或地区因紧急状况而封锁。我们可以说 ，The government ordered a complete lockdown of the city due to the plague. 该政府因为瘟疫而下令完全封锁城市。Okay, so the first part of our lesson today introduces the topic to us. It's all about how the natural world thrives under the coronavirus lockdown. So here we've got the word "thrives." That's part of this news title here. So of course we're using the simple present tense, and to thrive just means to do really well in a certain kind of situation. You're quite successful in a particular situation. So for example, if you immigrate to a Another country, hey, you're hoping that you will thrive there. You'll be able to get a good education, get a good job, and make a lot of money and be successful and be the envy of all your friends back home. Yes, you're going to thrive in your new country. Yes, if you thrive, you do really, really well. Your health could thrive, let's say, or you can thrive if your fortunes are on their way up. Yes, you're making a lot of money. You got a lot of friends. You're really doing well. You are. Are thriving. By the way, when my daughter was first born, we were really, really careful. Okay, we wanted to make sure that she would thrive. We wanted to make sure that she would do well. Okay, because if your child, let's say, has a failure to thrive, that's not going to be good. Okay, that might be something that holds that kid back for the rest of their childhood or for the rest of their lives. So, as a parent, you want to do everything you can to make sure that your child thrives. Now. We're not talking about kids today. We are talking about nature, though. And during the coronavirus lockdown, the natural world did really, really well. Nature really flourished, or it thrived. By the way, lockdown. 
What's that? We didn't have that in Taiwan. There was no lockdown. How about that? Yeah, we were all in Taiwan during that time, so we're not quite sure exactly what lockdown was all alike for other people in other parts of the world. But I guess, I'm, according to what people have told me or what I've read in the newspapers or online, you basically had to stay home and you had to limit your activities outside of your home. You had to work from home and stuff like that. So of course, you didn't have as much traffic out there. People were staying home, and therefore, nature was able to thrive. Hey, all these. These nasty people are no longer hanging out at the beach or in the canals of Venice and things like that. So hey, we can go ahead and go into those places, and no one's going to stop us. I think there was、uh, pictures of goats roaming around cities in England and stuff like that, and and rats infesting various cities or whatever, fish swimming into canals, what have you. Nature was kind of coming back. There you go. Nature was coming back. I heard in China there that they locked down a lot of the country there. They shut down the factories. People didn't go to work, so the air quality improved dramatically. Apparently, it was very noticeable. Even if you were stuck inside and you couldn't go outside, you still noticed how clean the air was. All of a sudden, yes. More on China. Early in 2020, the city of Wuhan, China, became the first place to order its citizens to stay home. Home due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Yes, this was the first lockdown. Yes, folks, go home and stay home. Don't go to work. Don't leave your apartment. Don't leave your homes. You are under lockdown. And of course, we all know what an outbreak is. That's when a disease suddenly goes everywhere. So yes, we had the SARS outbreak many years ago, and earlier this year we had the COVID-19 outbreak, the pandemic that spread all over the world. Now one. After the other, cities around the world followed suit, and lockdown became the new normal. So one after the other, one by one. First you have one, then you have another, all in a line, all in a series. One after the other, cities all followed suit after Wuhan. So if you follow suit. I think that's related to a card game. If somebody plays hearts, well, you play hearts too, etc. You follow suit. So to follow suit just means you do as the person in front of you did, and so on down the line. So Wuhan, that was the first city that went under lockdown, and then one after the other. Okay, in a sequence, cities around the world did the same thing. Lockdown became the new normal. Now, did that occur in Taiwan? No. I remember, oh, my daughter having to stay home from school for about one week, but I didn't miss any work. My wife didn't miss any work at any point. I could have left my apartment and gone downstairs and gone to the Seven Eleven. There was no lockdown. Wow, am I proud to be living in Taiwan right now? One of the only nations that really handled COVID nineteen well and didn't have to go. Into lockdown, yay Taiwan! Well done. Anyways, such measures to stop the spread of the disease posed serious problems to the global economy. Yes, economies all over the world were shut down overnight. Imports, exports, all of that activity. It stopped all of a sudden. By the way, we also have the word "measure" here to talk about. It's being used as a noun. Okay, when you take measures, let's say that means you're doing something to make sure that something else happens or doesn't happen. Yep, it's all part of government policy and actions that they take concerning certain problems. The government might take measures to fight crime, for example. So these are measures here that were designed to stop the spread of the disease. And however, they posed serious problems to the global economy. So here we got pose. If you want to have your picture taken and you want to look nice and pretty, well, you will pose. You will move your body in a certain position or to a certain position so that you look good for the photograph. But here, posing a problem just means it presents a problem, and it is a problem. So yes, indeed, these measures posed serious problems to the economy. Of course, people were staying home; they weren't working. Working, so they weren't making money, so they could buy things. So the economy suffered as a result. Those measures posed problems to the economy of the world.
True. However, though, they also had unexpected benefits for the natural world and the planet as a whole. So there you go. If you're talking about the entirety of something, you can use this phrase as a whole. So you're not talking about elements of some bigger thing one at a time. No, no, no. Taken all together, you're talking about these things. You're talking about them as a whole. Yep, indeed, it had benefits for the world all over the place. Okay, that brings us to the end of the first part of our lesson. Let's now listen to the second part. It's a little bit long, so pay extra attention. One of the first positive effects of the lockdown was a significant fall in air pollution. As transportation and industrial activities came almost to a complete stop. Lower levels of pollution could be seen in satellite images of Europe and Asia. Soon, these improvements became more than obvious on Earth too, as skies turned blue, rivers became clearer, and people rediscovered the luxury of breathing clean air. The Indian capital, New Delhi, for example, saw a 60% reduction in air pollution during India's lockdown, an amazing feat for a place that is often named as the world's most polluted city. Other cities, including New York, Seoul, and London, also experienced dramatic improvements in air quality. The second part, we saw a word, pollution, which means air pollution. For example, big cities often have high levels of air pollution. Big cities often have high levels of air pollution. Big cities often have high levels of air pollution. Big cities often have high levels of air pollution. Big cities often have high 指污染，使弄脏。举例来说 ，The smoke from the factory is polluting the air in our town. 这家工厂排放的烟污染了我们城镇的空气。接下来，我们看到一个单字 industrial。这个字是形容词，指工业的、工业化的。像是 Jeremy studies industrial design at the university. Jeremy 在大学念工业设计。或是 This river is polluted by industrial waste. 这条河被工业废料污染了。再来，我们看到一个形容词 obvious， 指明显、显然的。例如 ，The scratch on the car is obvious, so I am sure your father will see it. 车上的刮痕很明显，所以我确定你爸爸会看见它。另外，这个字的字尾加上 ly 就成了副词 obviously， 指显然的、明显的。举例来说 ，Stephen obviously didn't know it was a formal party. He showed up in jeans. Steven 显然不知道这是正式的派对。他穿着牛仔裤出席。接着，我们看到一个单字 luxury。这个字当不可数名词时，指奢侈的享受、奢华。像是 Larry was used to living a life of luxury until one day he lost everything. Larry 很习惯过着奢华的生活，直到有一天他失去了一切。而这个字如果是可数名词时，则有奢侈品的意思。举例来说 ，the home was filled with luxuries like fancy carpets and door handles made of gold. 这个家里充满了奢侈品，像是华丽的地毯和黄金制的门把。最后，我们看到名词 feat， 指非凡成就、英勇事迹、壮举。例如 ，the musician's ability to play every instrument on the album is truly a remarkable feat. 这位音乐家在专辑中演奏所有的乐器。实在是相当了不起的成绩，或是 sending astronauts to Mars would be an extremely difficult feat. 把太空人送上火星是极为困难的任务。Okay, COVID nineteen not good for people, but surprisingly, COVID nineteen was kind of good for the Earth. For the natural world, how about that? Now, one of the first positive effects of the lockdown was a significant fall in air pollution. I think I mentioned this during the introduction to our show today. Yeah, the coronavirus lockdown was pretty good for air pollution. I don't mean it was good for air pollution, as in there was more of it. 
I mean the exact opposite, okay? When you shut those factories down, okay? When nobody is polluting, the air pollution kind of goes away, and that's good for Mother Earth. By the way, when we're talking about air pollution, we're talking about nasty air, smoke, and other stuff that has been released into the atmosphere that is not good for us or for the environment. That's what air pollution is all about. By the way, you can pollute. That's the verb. You can pollute water air. You can pollute all sorts of things when you ruin it by adding nasty chemicals and other stuff like that to those things. Further, we also have the word significant. Here we're talking about a significant fall in air pollution. That means it was noticeable. The amount was remarkable. Yep, it was worthy of attention. So it was a pretty big fall in air pollution. And as transportation and industrial activities came almost to a complete stop, Lower levels of pollution could be seen in satellite images of Europe and Asia. So, of course, if people aren't going to school or if they aren't going to work, they're not driving their cars, they're not taking trains, they're not flying and stuff like that. So, transportation and also industrial activities, which would mean factories producing things, all of those things came to almost a complete stop. So, here we've got the phrase "come to a stop," which means basically stop. It's a fancy way of saying. Things halt. They cease. They stop. So yes, all of these things came almost to a complete stop. Almost, not a hundred percent, but for the most part, things just kind of slowed down to a snail's pace. They slowed down to a crawl there. So yes, they almost came to a complete stop in various parts of the world. There you go. So and as this happened, the natural world benefited. Yeah, there were lower levels of pollution, and you could see this yourself in. Satellite images of Europe and Asia. Yeah, you know, one day the pollution looks terrible. The next, from space, there you can tell the difference. You go, wow! Look at the improvement in the air quality there. Now, soon these improvements became more than obvious on Earth too, as skies turned blue. Rivers became clearer, and people rediscovered the luxury of breathing clean air. Yes, even though these people were in lockdown, they were in their apartments with the doors locked, and they couldn't go anywhere. They still noticed, hey, the air is much better than it used to be. Yes, I like this clean air stuff. Breathing clean air is obviously fantastic. By the way, obviously would be the adverb. Obvious would be the adjective. If something is obvious, it's unmistakably clear. Everyone can see it. Everyone notices it. It's abundantly clear to everyone who's involved. Yep, it's not only obvious, but it's more than obvious. It's so obvious that you're pretty dim if you didn't notice it. So yes, the skies turned blue. Rivers became clearer. And people rediscovered the luxury of breathing clear air. So let me back up and talk about this word luxury. That's usually something that、uh, is extra special and it costs a little extra money. It's not really something that you need. Okay, if you're really rich, of course you can afford lots of luxuries, like an expensive car or really expensive jewelry. You don't really need that stuff to survive. But what the heck? It's nice to have it to show everybody else how successful you are. But in this particular case, yes, we rediscovered the luxury of breathing clean air. Maybe we kind of forgot what it was like to breathe clean air. I remember many years ago when I quit smoking, I kind of rediscovered the luxury of breathing fresh air. When you smoke, you don't notice it. When you quit smoking, wow, it's wonderful to be able to breathe like a normal human being again. What a luxury this is to breathe clean air. Now, the Indian capital, New Delhi, for example, saw a 60 percent reduction in air pollution during India's lockdown. An amazing feat for a place that is often named as the world's most polluted city. How about that? Now, in this sentence, we have the noun reduction to talk about. Yeah, reduce is the verb. Reduction is the noun. A reduction in something is a situation where you have less of something than you did before. 
Yep, we're always talking about arms reductions. For example,、uh, countries shouldn't have as many nuclear bombs as they have. But、uh, yes, there was a reduction in air pollution in India, and that was an amazing feat. A feat, of course, is an accomplishment. So yes, indeed, that was a great feat because it's often considered the world's most polluted city. I think there were pictures in the newspaper of、uh, mountains outside of New Delhi that people had not seen in decades because. Of all the pollution, it made it impossible to see those mountains. There you go. Now, other cities, including New York, Seoul, and London, also experienced dramatic improvements in air quality. How about that? All right, folks. With that, today's lesson on the natural world thriving under the COVID-19 lockdown is now in the books, and it's time for you guys to hear from the Chinese teacher. Good students, everyone. Hello, I'm Hanny. We're going to look at today's lesson's focus point. Okay, so after the new COVID-19 outbreak, the world has announced that many cities in the world have declared a state of emergency, ordering everyone to stay at home. The text reads that such measures to stop the spread of the disease pose serious problems to the global economy. These measures to stop the spread of the disease pose serious problems to the global economy. These measures to stop the spread of the disease pose serious problems to the global economy. These measures to stop 里面的 pose 是当动词来表达造成、引起。那它的受词通常是表示风险或是问题等等的名词。像文中 pose serious problems 表示造成严重问题。其他还有像 pose harm 造成伤害 ，pose a risk 造成风险 ，pose a threat 造成威胁 ，pose a danger 造成危险。Pose a challenge, 造成考验，带来挑战等等。那这些用语后面都可以接 to 再加名词来表达对某人或是对某事物造成的什么。像是 smog poses a serious threat to our health. 雾霾对我们的健康造成严重威胁。第二个重点是 global economy 表示全球经济。那这个名词 economy 就表示经济、经济状况。好，那其实 economy 它还有节约的意思，像我们说 fuel economy test 就是用来表达车辆的油耗测试。这个测试就是来看看你的车子省不省油啦。好，那么 economy 这个字它也有形容词的用法，但它只能摆在名词的前面来表达经济的、节约的。像 economy class ticket 就表示经济舱的机票喽。顺便补充几个跟经济相关的词性，像 economic， 它是形容词，形容经济的、经济上的或是经济学的，在后面加上 s 变成 economics， 就表示经济学了。那如果是在 economic 后面再加上 a l， 会变成另外一个形容词哦。Economical 是形容节约的、节俭的或是省钱的，所以同学们要稍微注意一下 economic 还有 economical 这两个形容词的差异。好，那么课文第二部分谈到封锁的其中一个正面影响是空气污染显著的减少。那这个段落有一个句子写到说 ，These improvements became more than obvious on Earth。这些改善。非常明显的反映在地球上。那句子里面用到 more than 加上形容词来表达非常怎么样，意思就相当于 very 或者是 extremely。例如 ，I'm more than happy to help， 就是我非常乐意帮忙。You're more than welcome to visit us， 非常欢迎你来拜访我们。那这边补充一个片语 ，more than a little。好 ，a little 本来是这种少量的意思嘛，可是，在前面。加上 more than 不是指比一点点还多一点哦。More than a little 可以表达出很多、非常的意思，跟 very extremely 也是差不多的。例如 ，She was more than a little surprised， 表示她非常惊讶。好，那么以上今天重点整理，我们回顾今天单词吧。Measure the government is introducing new measures to protect people against the disease. Significant. Mary spends a significant amount of time each day practicing the violin. Pollution. Air pollution has become a major concern for many countries. Industrial. Detroit used to be one of the industrial centers of the United States. Obvious. The scratch on the car is obvious, so it's better to tell your parents the truth. 
Luxury. On her day off, Linda enjoyed the luxury of not having to get up early. Reduction. There was a small reduction in the number of students taking art this year. Okay, everyone. With that, today's article is now complete. But as always, we sure hope that you guys have enjoyed reading along with us. Anyways, I'm Jeff. I am Roger. See, See you, you next, next time. time.